going through quite a reboot phase. And in the last few years, a lot of movies and shows from the 80s and 90s have just been getting all these movies and show reboots. And while reboots have always been a thing, I feel like it's just happening a lot more. And I know there's, it's just, a lot of it's a way to go and cash in on these shows and movies and to go and, and also make fans happy, but to go and, so the people who are going in and making it are getting their money's worth off it. And sometimes I'm interested in it, sometimes I'm not. For example, the Ben 10 reboot. Even though I liked the original Ben 10, the reboot I just wasn't interested in. It didn't seem <laughs> interesting to me at all. The, the art style I didn't care for, and to me it was just too early for a reboot. The show was only about 12 years old or so, and just to go and reboot it this soon just seems kind of pointless to me, but some of you might have some other ideas. Then there's also that Thundercats reboots, and I never cared about the Thundercats, but we can go and make a whole video on this new little cow art style that's just pretty much in every cartoon these days, and uh, it, it's really disappointing. But for every bad reboot, there is a good reboot. Samurai Jack is an example of a good reboot. It was done right. Now, some people might say that the last few episodes weren't as good, but still, overall, in my opinion, it was a good reboot. There's also going to be a Twilight Zone reboot, and I'm pretty confident it might work. I like the original Twi Twilight, I like the 80s Twilight, the 2000s Twilight was pretty bad, but the first two were pretty good, and I, I'm pretty confident that this new reboot for Twilight Zone will work. But today, another reboot was announced, and that reboot is Rugrats. A lot of us watched Rugrats when we were kids. It, for some of us, it might have been our first cartoon, but overall, it was a cartoon we all grew up with. <laughs> a lot of us. It was on for over a decade, which is a pretty good task. Most cartoons usually last a few years, even if they're popular. And a lot of that for years was a reason because a lot of the shows had this 65 episode limit. I'm not sure entirely why they did that. I'm guessing it was just to get old shows out of the way and put new ones on there. But overall, it was there was usually a limit on how many episodes there can be. So a show would usually last two or three seasons, de depending on how many episodes the season had. But Rugrats wasn't that. It lasted over 10 years. Rugrats was always a pretty good show to me. It's not my favorite Nickelodeon show, but it is always going to be a favorite for me. Like everyone, to me, the older seasons are the better ones. Seasons 1 through 4. The older, or I guess, the uh, first of the, new, of the newer seasons was pretty good, but after Dill was introduced, to me, that's when the show started to go downhill. It just got too deep until where, to the part where Tommy had to go and take care of Dill, and I know they were trying to make him this older brother and everything, but it just got old really fast to me. Then they introduced Kimmy, and I guess she was a little better, but by then the show was probably just it was too late to save it, and it was only lasted a few more years. So, a lot of people are wondering whether this reboot will work or not. And, like I said, reboots can work or they can't work. You usually have to get the right people on it. And when I say right people, I mean usually people who worked on the show. If you can't get the creator on the show, it's probably not going to work. And in some cases, you can't because the creator is retired or they're dead or anything like that. So you just have to get the next best thing on it, which is understandable. But this time around, the creators, from what I heard, will be working on it. So that is going to be a plus, and it is making me more hopeful on it. 
unlike the Raw Rats reboot where the uh, McCracken wasn't on the show and really no one else who worked on it, which obviously didn't work out for it, I think it could maybe work out for this Rug Rats reboot. Maybe. It's going to be about 26 episodes, which is uh, kind of surprising because a lot of time when they're going to reboot, reboot a show, what they usually want to do first is they want to make a TV movie just to see how it would do. If the TV movie does well, then they might move on with the show, and if it doesn't, it bombed and they move on. So that, that, that's what they usually do, do, but they're just going the full, the full route here, and I'm guessing that they, they seem pretty confident about it. I'm, but <clears throat> the problem with reboots is, is that not only do you have to set to uh, get the original fans happy, but you also have to get the new fans happy, and they might or might not enjoy the original show. It's it just could have a bunch of stuff in it that they might not care about. So, in order to go and get a new audience and the old audience, it's really hard. Now the show can just work with one of them, but still, if you get double the ratings, it's really good for them. So, it is going to be hard to go and tr try to m make both, both of them happy, so I'm not really sure about that part. I'm wondering whether, if this is going to be the first of Nickelodeon reboots. They've already rebooted Double Dare, and it's doing pretty well. The Hey Arnold little TV movie, I think it did okay. It, it wasn't spectacular, it wasn't the best it, it could have been, but I personally think it could have done a lot better if they had aired old episodes before that, but they didn't, so it just got really mediocre ratings, I believe. Then they also had that Legend of the Hidden Temple movie, which was kind of weird. And we also have the Rocko's Modern Life and Invader Zim TV movies to look forward to, which, is, which are still coming. And we still haven't really got a lot of details about both of them. All we know about the Rock Was Modern Life show is that it's going to take place 20 years later where, where the trio comes back from being in space for 20 years and they see everything is different. And then Invader Zim, all we know is that Zim has this new plan to go and take over Earth. That's really it. But I I'm really hoping that both of them will be good. But I do wonder if they're going to do more reboots for old shows like Doug. Doug was a good show. It, I think it's actually a show I come to like more and more as an adult for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I think I like it more than I did as a kid. And Doug would be a hard one because obviously in I think 1996 Disney bought it. Now they do. They are allowed to air the old episodes, but I think in order to make a new episodes, they would have to buy it back from Disney and. I don't think that would be a hard task at all. The Doug reboot for Disney didn't do too spectacular. I think uh, I think it did good get, did get some good ratings back then, but now it's just seen as a watered down reboot, and fans pretty much say it's just nothing like the original. And even the creator says that it's not as good as the original Doug was. But Doug, I think it has a slightly good chance if they can get it from Disney and. Like I just said, I don't think they would have a problem giving it away. Then we have Ren and Stimpy. Let me just go and say this. Ren and Stimpy is never going to air on Nickelodeon ever again. I know it. After what happened to the creator, it's... Ren and Stimpy, I'm pretty sure, will never air on Nickelodeon ever again. It's... I heard there was originally going to be a... Uh, a little short for the first Spongebob movie, but then there was a fallout between the creator and Nickelodeon, and now this stuff happened, so <laughs> trust me when I say that Ren and Sippy will never air on Nickelodeon ever again. Then we have other shows like like uh, 
Wild Thornberries and Hey Arnold and let's see, Jimmy Neutron. They might have a chance, maybe not, but if a show were to get rebooted, the one I would want is Danny Phantom. That is the show I want the most. It, it, it could definitely work as a good reboot. So, Butch Hartman, just forget about the Fairly Odd Parents. You know it's out of the way, and if you really want to reboot Danny Phantom or help, have a continuation. That would be even better, in my opinion. And I, I've actually been thinking about making a, a video for reboots or sequels I want to... I want to see, and you could expect that Danny Fanta would probably be on a video like that. So, along with the TV show, there's also been announced to be a live-action CGI movie, and I'm not sure if this show is going to be CGI or not, or traditionally animated. That hasn't been said yet, but I am hoping it's going to be traditionally animated. And I'm sure the art style will be different. It's Usually when a show gets rebooted, the show, the art style will always be different, and please, please just don't let it be the Cal art style, please, please don't let it be that. But with this new movie, it just sounds weird. We've seen all these CGI live action movies lately, and a lot of them haven't turned out to be well. And... If it was just CGI, I could see it maybe working. Maybe. There have been shows for when I see, or see, shows and movies when I see the CGI, and before it, I'm just thinking, ah, uh, this is not gonna work. Oh, they're gonna look horrible. What are they thinking? Just, in, in the words of the angry video game nerd, what are they thinking? And, but then I see the art style, and I'm just like, hey, this could work, actually. They, they, they work pretty well in CGI. So, if it, were, if it were just a CGI movie, I would have some hopes for it, but because it's going to be live action, it just sounds really weird. But, I am going to try to go into the show with high hopes. I, I like Rugrats, but I kind of wonder whether this will work or not. Is it going to be just a, going to be a complete reboot, or are they going to have the original characters in it? Is it going to take place in the early 90s like the show did? Is it going to be a reboot that takes place in modern day, well, well all the adults are talking on their cell phones? Or is it going to be a sh just a continuation where, well, the original Rugrats are now adults, and, and the adults are now grandparents, and the adults now have their own kids? That could work too. Even though I, I think some of them are kind of young to have kids, it's these days most people have kids in their early or mid 30s. But I can definitely see that work. I think it would probably be more of the better idea because you would the the people who would come back to watch the show would go, go like, see this son, that guy used to be my age. So. <clears throat> I, I can see it working, but possibly I think it would probably be the better idea if they do it that way, but the show is not going to air, I think, until 2020, or, or, uh, no, the movie's not airing until 2020, and I'm not sure about the show. It could maybe come around the same time or a year later, but, uh, so, <clears throat> this show, it might work, it might not. I'm trying to have high hopes for it, but it's just, some reboots have been bad, some reboots have been good. I'm trying to take the good reboot side and hoping this one will work. Like I said, the creators are working on it. I'm hoping it would do well and maybe they can get back some of the original writers. I'm, I know some of them are probably in their late 50s, early 60s right now, but... Maybe they can go and get those writers for a while, and then they can go and, and just give their instinct to some of the younger writers and say, uh, yeah, this is what you have to do. Just, yeah, don't get any of this, I don't know, third gender crap into, into the shows. No one cares about that, really. I know it's important to you, but no one else cares about it. So hopefully uh, they'll do something like that. But... Hopefully it will work.